Aloha everyone, what's really good my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we've got a variety of things to cover, so without any further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm not necessarily sure what prompted this, but Jagex has put out a statement regarding the safety of the community and providing safe spaces for all those who play RuneScape. They say everybody within their community is expected to abide to the Code of Conduct. Content creators who breach the Code of Conduct are not welcome in the game, at the events, or the community. So it's interesting to see if this was preemptive or if this was in response to something a content creator has done. I do not know. If it was you know, a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, whatever may have you who seemingly may have broken some rules or something, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys have heard something, but I haven't heard anything. And again, like I said, this could just be preemptive and not be associated with any particular person's wrongdoing. That said, anybody going forward, it seems like since they've made this statement, they are going to take a stand for any type of wrongdoing that they feel need fit and take the appropriate action for whatever offense that person has done. So that is interesting. In a similar vein, they posted out another post talking about some updates to the chat filter. So they say in February 2011, they lifted the chat filter to allow players to toggle it on and off to freely speak as they so choose. Unfortunately, inappropriate and offensive language and behavior has obviously crept into and has been sustained within the community for a long time. So in order to help combat that, they're going to be starting to hard filter a number of hateful words and phrases from the filter, regardless of whether you have the filter on and off, it's going to be starred. So obviously these things are like racial slurs or homophobic slurs, those kinds of things are going to be completely weeded out. And it's going to be interesting to see exactly how extensive this chat filter is. I I wonder if even though these filters are in place if you're somebody who's so inclined to still use these types of words and it does get starred out I wonder if they will take any action against you because you still tried to use those words even though it will start out I am not sure regardless it is nice to see that they are weeding out people who do choose to make those kinds of comments to hopefully make the game much more enjoyable for those who would be targets of those kinds of remarks now with all that out of the way we're going to completely shift gears and talk about today's recent live stream so they got on live stream today Jagex and what was supposed to be a Q&A because they have been collecting questions for a while now to finally address some of the questions that we've had the lack of communication and updates etc was going to hopefully be addressed unfortunately that has been postponed as mod porky or perky as they have said correcting on the live stream tons of questions have been submitted over 50 that they're looking at right now but for one reason or another they're going to have to postpone this i don't have an eta on when the q a is going to come on live stream but whenever it does i'll definitely be covering the things they talk about it's just extremely unfortunate that the one live stream where they were going to finally communicate with the players and explain why they have not been transparent ends up getting delayed it's like one of the few things that shouldn't be delayed by all costs but nothing we can do at this point so instead, they still did have a live stream, this time introducing Mod Hooli, which is the new lead community manager. Seems like an alright guy, I'm waiting to see how he's going to add to the company. Still way too early, he said he's only worked there for about a month, but he's been in the gaming industry for about 8 years, worked on things like Gears of War. So who knows how that's going to pan out, we're going to have to, you know, just give it time. The one takeaway I do want to mention on this stream before I end out the video is that they did reveal that the next update on Monday is another Ninja Strike, this time focusing on the tier 92 armors that we've been waiting for a very long time for some improvements on. That is the Elite, Tectonic, and Sirenic. So we're definitely going to be getting some improvements to the repair and how they're fixed. Reducing that cost and making it far more accessible and not expensive to use on a regular basis. And I imagine they're going to get some kind of benefits or some kind of set effect. Much like we've seen with Masterwork, maybe not the exact same thing, but some kind of benefit to make that armor set more worthwhile and definitely something you're going to want to get your hands on. Whatever that may be, we won't know until Monday and I'll definitely cover it on the channel when that goes live. That said, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay updated on all things RuneScape related, then do hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.